Hi friends, thank you so much for joining me as I share my thoughts on the film Kinds of Kindness. I love Yarmouth. I love his movies. They are just weird and dark and trippy and just, I don't know, full of just, you know, awesomeness. His most accessible, accessible movies uh, were like Poor Things and The Favorite, which Poor Things came out last November. It won a lot of awards. It did so well at the Oscars. But this is different. This is the Orgos of Yore. This is the w type of style of filmmaking that he built his career on. And this is like going way back old school. So this is more like the independent filmmaking that Yorgos used to do that made it kind of just, you know, it's everything's off kilter. Everything is black comedy, like dark black comedy, and it all has a, a certain purpose, a meaning, a thread of humanity, of something. Um, and to be honest with you, you either go all in or you hate it. <laughs> My wife would hate kinds of kindness. So if you're like a general film goer, you probably will not like this movie. But if you want to explore what Yargo's movies are like, like, from where he started, where he came from, this is a great movie to just kind of dip your toe in before you watch the others, or just go back from the beginning and walk along. I didn't know. I didn't know anything about it coming into it. I deliberately made sure that I did not read anything about it. I watched maybe a couple of trailers, or the trailer was in the theater, and I really escaped that. Yeah, I just wanted to kind of go in with, you know, just to experience the whole thing. And I didn't realize that it was an anthology you know, movie, which there is three short Yorgos movies, um, which equal up to about two hours and 44 minutes. So it's long. And at times I was like, okay, after the first one, when I started realizing what's going on here, and there's a common thread with a character that doesn't speak a word in the whole film. Uh, it just came, seems to be that, that focus point. The movies all deal with a need for love, a need for belonging, a need for acceptance. Um, if you are a, you know, working underneath a boss or have a conflict with your wife or just want to be accepted in love by a cult, you end up in these situations and you make it what you want it to be, which, you know, a lot of movies are great like that. And Yorgos is really great with this. But I think in this one is really on the nose, you know, it's telling you what it is. And when you think there's an act of kindness or a direction the, the movie's gonna go in, it takes it a whole nother direction. <laughs> it's not what you expect. So, and I, I think it's kind of like an absurdist film. I mean, it, it really is dealing with the, you know how I hate getting into this film school mumbo jumbo, but it is literally on the nose. You go into it, it's weird, it's wacky. If you feel it and get involved in it, then it is wonderful and fun. And if it's just one of those movies that, uh, if you're a general film goer that don't like this type of stuff, then you're just gonna be infuriated. For me, I was in the middle. So the first one was very entertaining. I, I, really enjoyed it. The second one, I kind of started to get tired and I just, boring to me. And the third one was very interesting and it just gets more and more interesting as the movie goes on. And of course there's uh, a great finale. So is it my favorite Yorgos? No, but it, it's like the B-sides of Yorgos. It's, it's the anthology of Yorgos. He's like, hey, I'm gonna throw on a mixtape for you. And it works, and it's good, and it's stripped down independent filmmaking at its finest. It's, it's what it's supposed to be. And I think it's great that he has a great cast that pushes it into the mainstream. I mean, Jesse Plemons basically, you know, he won the uh, Best Actor for Cannes because it shows his range. You know, it's just, Jesse's a really good actor, if you don't know that already, but he's really good. And this movie just showcases his acting ability. Now, should he get nominated for an Oscar? He probably will, but he plays three different characters in one movie, you know? 
it's awesome. It's doing, he, he does an amazing job. And, you know, Emma Stone has been BFFs with uh, Yargos for, since The Favorite. Uh, this was their fourth, a third collaboration that's going to be their fourth in the next movie that I, that was just announced. So um, we're going to see a lot of them having fun together. And that's what they are. They're just having fun. You know, there's movies like David Lynch movies that, you know, David Lynch directs his actors a certain way. Yorgos directs his actors a certain way. It's just the, but that makes them what their auteur movies are and how they direct and how they look and how they feel. And that's what was interesting about Poor Things because it was, that was a whole different direction of Yorgos. And this one's back to the basics good on a level it's worth watching if you are a uh cinephile like i said my wife would just just rather uh want go to an accounting convention yeah so that's my thoughts that's all i have to say about that it uh, i am am i disappointed a little bit i thought it maybe would kind of push me to a whole nother level it didn't i'm glad i saw it I, I still love his films. I love what he's trying to do and what he's trying to say um, and how he's saying it. So I'm, I'm good. I, is it the best film of the year? No, it's not. Um, great acting, great things that are happening in this movie. But I, I'm a, a little disappointed. I think I had my hopes up a little bit too high. I appreciate you hanging out with me and listening to me ramble on this one. Uh, but whatever thoughts that you have, I would love to hear it. I would love to know how you feel about these types of movies and if you think they're just garbage or if you think they actually elevate the cinema. Um, appreciate your time. Have a good day.